totally sober. Totally sober. No, never touched a drink. As, yeah, he picks up hey, Raj's beer. <laughs> yeah. Let's fucking go nuts tonight, guys. <laughs> see what happens when you come on. The, see what happens when you come on the nine club. Ah, everything changes. Everything. Nuts. Corey, everything goes downhill. <laughs> but no. n- nothing. Nothing. You've never taken a sip of beer or anything. Never. Really? Never your life. Never my life, man. Just never found any desire for it. What? Just, and everyone's all on tours. Everything. Every, oh yeah. People are like. Oh, it's waste with you here. Have a beer with me. I'm like, I don't drink. They're like, dude, I was partying with you last year. You're I'm like, like no, no, you were partying. No, so yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I'm like, I'm just a fucking bit out of my mind, maybe. But I don't, I don't fuck with it. But know? why not succumb to any of the, you know, like you said, the tours and and trying beer or something? What, what, what's the deal? There's a couple of different reasons I would say. Mm-hmm. I mean, later, like now, obviously, I'm 34. I'm yeah. Like, Okay, well, am I gonna start fucking drinking booze now at 34 and just? I don't even have enough money to like hardly survive. And what am I gonna spend all my money on a six pack? You know, shit. <laughs> R- Raj seems but, to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Venmo. But uh, at this age now, go I go. I just realized I'm like, if I've gone this long without it, sure. What do you, what's well, it? What, um, it's I'm, no big ca- deal. I'm quite you know happy and content with yeah. like, my way of life. But not even is. like a like. Let me just try. Uh, let me see what the big hubbub is. Let me try a sip. Okay, so let there, me... there's a couple of factors. Go ahead. I'm also really scared of it because I'm very quite. I have a. Addictive uh, personality. Um, I would say so. I mean, okay. you guys have seen me for what? Well, been here ten minutes and we're already fucking going bananas. <laughs> 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 hey, no, actually, check this out. What no. you got over here? Actually, yeah. Is, <laughs> oh, you got Estella. Oh, well, fuck that. Let me try that. Let me try ten there. of these. <laughs> How's it with Perrier? Let's make some champagne. Yeah, exactly. You know, like, I just think I'm a little bit intimidated by it. Probably. Yeah. Okay. Um, family problems with it as well. Sure. Okay. So yeah. that would be the main reason yeah. as a kid growing up in the household okay. with it. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, my dad's obviously like my best friend, actually, probably, but he's always had a booze problem his whole life. Okay. Yeah. I could see and how that can. Never wanted to be home around that shit. Yeah. yeah. You know, right. so it was just something I wasn't interested in. Sure. And then all of a sudden, at like 12, 13 years old, when all your buddies start doing it, it then makes you feel like you're like, hey, I'm leaving home to get away from this type of shit. And here, now I'm going to be hanging out with all my fucking dickhead friends and they're yeah, all doing it too? exactly. God damn it. You know? <laughs> yeah, so, you can't escape it. No. Nah. And then going on tours and, I mean, Jesus. Sir. Tour. And then, so then after a couple of years, when I got re- heavily into like punk rock mm-hmm. and like just rock and roll, to me, punk rock was always about going against the grain. Right. Like some people think, you know, being punk is only about chaos and destruction mm-hmm. and fucking party let's fucking stick the hammer you know there you <laughs> right right go, fucking rage go and, crazy yeah let's let's kill ourselves live fast die young sure to me like i said punk was going against the grain and mm-hmm. i thought it was cool right. to not be like all my friends okay. were partying yeah. i was like i'm gonna all oh, you guys are fucking normies you guys are all doing this doing the same i don't want to be like you guys oh okay you know i, I kind of have that mentality i like it though yeah and it was just and so i just never got into it you okay. know and then okay. And also, like I said, I just, it's one of those things I think I would probably also really enjoy it. So, <laughs> that's, that's you know, those guys you've seen yeah. as I walked up in Venice, like riding the, you know, the bird scooters on those and the guys mm-hmm. laying in the gutters looking at the stars. That, could that be, would be me. That would be you. It would be beautiful. Look at the stars all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Everything looks Blacked good. Blacked out in the gutter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it always looks good when you're looking up and you always know which way is up. Trust me, yeah. his eyes are probably closed and he's still seeing stars. <laughs> yeah. You know? Exactly. This is, uh, so, but that's cool it, though. It's cool that you didn't, you know, you, you stuck by your uh, values. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so then also most of my heavy drinker buddies, guys who I used to tour with, mm-hmm. were also always the guys like the Duff Man. No, no, no. You're not the kind of do this. You're Good. gonna kill yourself. Or you're gonna kill somebody else. Right. And so I already feel like I'm a bit out of my mind mm. a little bit. I'm kind of. Well, I don't know if like my levels are all right. There's sometimes <laughs> I feel like I'm kind of. Some levels. You know, right. to the, it's you know it's like that manic type shit sometimes. Right. Were you ever annoyed with like everyone else drinking all the time and you're like, dude? Because let me tell you something. I can't be. I can't stand being around drunk people sometimes. Oh, absolutely. You know what I mean? Like it's the worst. Like. You know that they're talking to you, and you're just you're having a yeah. Hey, you're having a. <laughs> see this one time, hey man. Yeah, the worst, the worst they, they're not going to remember anything. No, you know, and sorry. you're just having this meaningless conversation with this drunk guy. Go ahead. The worst, is, the worst when you it's, when you don't drink. Yeah, because I didn't start drinking until I was like 23. Okay, <laughs> that, that's hard to believe. Sure, but like just dealing with people, you're like. 
dude, let me buy you a drink. Get you a drink. What do you mean you don't drink? What do you mean you don't drink? Like, that, see, now that's <laughs> yeah. right. See, now yeah. I go out yeah. too to these premieres and I, I mean, I'm not a big drinker. I don't drink that much, you know? And people yeah. are always like, let me get you a drink. Let me, and over and over, I'm like, no, dude, I'm an adult. Like, yeah. I could say no. Yeah. You Absolutely. know what I mean? Like, and respect that. But then here's my thing. I don't care if you want to drink. That's yeah, your yeah, life too. exactly. It doesn't bother me. Exactly. People then go, so you straight edge? And I go, fuck no. Right. I fucking can't stand those dudes. <laughs> <laughs>